the long-term farming systems comparisons in the tropics trial, which hereafter are referred to as a SISCOM trial, was started in 2007. Uh, FIBO and other institutions interested in organic farming had carried out long-term trials and they had shown that there is promise for organic agriculture, but there were no comparative studies in the south where temperatures are higher, uh, pest disease cycles are more vigorous simply because of the temperature difference and also the socio-economic dynamics is very different and the soils are very different. So that justified a comparative study in the tropics and Kenya was chosen as one of the centers where that would happen. So this trial was started in 2007 at Thika. Thika because this is a government center and land was assured for a long time. They also chose another center in Chuka which has a different set of agroecological uh, environment which is about 120 kilometers from Thika. It's, it's much cooler and it's wettier than thicker. The trial is taking place in a, in a school. And again, the school is going nowhere, so the land is assured for many years. Here we are at the SISCOM trial. The trial has four treatments. They are replicated five times. There is a conventional system versus the organic system. And within each system, there are two levels of application what we call the high level and the low level. The high level mimics commercial production where recommended rates are used. The low system mimics farmer practice, what the farmers actually do. They are unable to afford the high rates and therefore they apply the lower rates. For the conventional high and organic high, the driving economic force is markets for niche markets either locally or abroad whereas for the low system is mainly for home consumption and the local market the treatments are hand weeded all through there's no me mechanization at all and in the high system after about two years we realized that the rainfall was not enough and if you were not careful we were not going to get any data so we introduced irrigation in the high system. Let me talk a little bit about the rotation system. We practice a three-year rotation, a six-season three-year rotation, we might, we might call it that. way. Every first season of the two seasons in the year we have maize. So it goes maize, vegetables, maize stroke, baby corn, French bean stroke bean, maize stroke baby corn, and then potatoes. We've already gone through two rotations. And when we started in 2007, um, we realized that the conventional high out yielded everything else. The yields were way, way high over everything else. Uh, second was conventional low which was comparable to organic high and then the organic low system was way below everything else. Now fast forward to year four after three years of the rotation and we found that the, you, you could not distinguish the use between conventional high and organic high and then you could also not distinguish between the use of organic low and conventional low, which means that the organic system had already begun to, the, the nutrients had begun to accumulate, the system was already performing, and after three, three years, it was at par with the conventional system. This trial has come to be very important for the center. We call it an open learning site. We have visitors almost on a regular basis, almost on a weekly basis, I would say, especially when they are students and interested farmers, they come through, and we are, we are very happy to show them around.